Kinshasa is a heritage conservation organization. Our mandate is to protect, preserve, and use sustainably the, our natural and historic assets. Uh, it is all part of, of national pride, uh, promoting national patrimony, and integrating this into the tourism product so that we can provide a truly central region experience when visitors come to Central Asia. National parks um, and protected areas um, are an integral part of a country's landscape. They, they, they serve a number of functions. Um, recreation is of course one of them. Parks are also designated because of their biodiversity importance and the way they contribute to, to balancing our ecology. Um, some parks are also historic in nature like the Pigeon Island National Landmark. And so they are all they also represent important components of a country's history. So these, these are areas that are special for whatever reason, it could be for natural reasons or historic reasons, but certainly once identified, we need to conserve and preserve them for the enjoyment of the population and also for the ecological and historic functions that they, they, they provide. The face and the interest of tourism is changing. People are coming to the Caribbean and to other destinations more and more for history, cuisine, and those types of experiences. Sun, sand and sea is fading and in any case, um, given our major tourism markets, uh, people could find sun, sand and sea experiences closer to home. So our historic structures, our landscape, the beauty of the island, these are the emerging attractions for tourism. And we have a rich history when we uh, in, in this area. Um, if you take Pigeon Island or the Morn, for example, the historic structures that are there, are, are they, they represent an, an important asset which we need to de develop and, and make it part of that tourism experience. These are the kinds of investments that we need to do so that these structures are not lost forever. Um, if we do not restore them, over time they will be gone. Um, they will also add to the diversity of the tourism product. And, and these can all therefore be seen not only as investments in real estate where you're bringing back a structure, a building to put it to use but also in terms of uh, diversifying that visitor experience in a way that distinguishes us from the normal sun, sand and sea experience which um, visitors tend now to look at a secondary driver for tourism. Properties that we own um, are open to the public. Um, that is our mandate to allow people to enjoy them. So at some places like Pigeon Island there is a fee to enter and other places there isn't. Um, so access is part of the, the, the mandate of the trust. In terms of restoration, we are actually planning to do that right here in Pigeon Island. Um, across from the other side um, there is the, a, a structure which has now gone to ruins 
but it was the home of Admiral Rodney when he was here, based in St. Lucia. And we have plans to, 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 re, to rebuild it to the way it was uh, when it was constructed in the first place.